In this tutorial, we will learn how to add a glare effect in a scene like this. We have already created this street light, although the light is not added yet. Let us first move our 3D cursor to this location. So select this object and from the object menu, select the option cursor to selected. The 3D cursor now moved here. Let us now add the light. We cannot add an actual light because a light object is never visible in the final render. A light makes other objects visible, but it itself remains hidden. So, we have to add some visible object which will look like a light. Let us add a sphere as our light object. And reduce its size by 0.5. We may need to resize it further, but for now let us rectify its position by moving it up slightly, just a little bit. Okay. We then need to add an emission material for this dummy light. So, go to the materials tab, and create a new material. Then select emission and the shader type. Also change the strength value to 50. Then turn on the rendered view mode. The light looks perfect. Now, to add the glare effect here, we need to first move our light or this sphere into a different layer. Let us expand this little bit like this, so that this add button is visible. Click on it to create a new collection here. Then, move the sphere under this new collection. We can collapse this. In this view layer, we will keep all other objects except the sphere, so hide collection too. We will now copy this layer into a new layer. Let us rename this new layer, to something like, Glare Layer. We should have only Collection 2 in this layer. So hide Collection 1. We need to combine these two layers, so that they display together in the final render. So, open one Compositor Editor. If you cannot see anything like this in the Compositor, just enable this Use Nodes option. You will get these two default nodes. Let us look at this Input node, which is a Render Layer node. This holds the render output of the view layer. We also need the glare layer output here. So add another render layer from the add menu. Then select the glare layer for this node. We can collapse it to save some space. Now, we need to combine these two layers. So add one add node, under converter, and math. Then, connect the two render layers to the input side of this add node and connect its output to the composite node. To check the final result, select the Render Image Menu option, the shortcut is F12. Ok, we have the combined output. We will now add the glare effect for this light. So, close this. Go to the Add menu and add a glare node, from the Filter menu. Place this glare node in between the glare layer, and the Add node. The default values are all good here. The number of streaks should be 4. Let us change this angle to any arbitrary value, say 30. Now collapse this and hit F12 for the render output. We can now see the glare. But these are too thick, so we need to reduce the size of our light sphere. Go back to the properties editor for this sphere. And change the object size to just 0.1. Remember to change it in all three dimensions. Fine. Now hit F12 again to see the render output. This now looks perfect. But we will also add some blur effect here for better result. So, go back to the compositor and add one blur node from the filter menu. Place it after the glare node. Change the type to fast Gaussian. Then select relative and enter 0.5% in X and Y. Also change the size to 0.5. Then press Shift D to duplicate this node. Change the percentage to 1, and the size to 2. Again duplicate this node, and this time just change the size to 3. Bring the original glare layer to these two blur nodes. To add these two nodes, add a mix node from the menu, and join both the nodes. Change the factor to 0.5. To add this mix node with the blur node, duplicate this add node. Connect the input sides. We are almost done. Just send the output of this add node to the final add node. We are now ready to make our final render, to see the effect. So, hit F12 once more. Here is the final result with all the effects. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.